If you run a business and you want to get more traffic and more paying customers, you need a blog. So in this video, I'm going to explain what a blog is and why blogging is important. I'll show you the best tool to use for your blog. I'll tell you the exact type of content you need to create and I'll show you how to avoid some classic blogging mistakes. Sound like a plan? Come on, let's get started. Hi, I'm Tony Messer, the founder of PickerWeb, the web hosting company that helps businesses get online, get found, and get more customers. I've worked with thousands of businesses, and whenever I speak to a business owner who's determined to grow their business, one of the first things that I ask them is whether or not they have a blog. And usually, they'll say something like this. What's a blog? Well, yeah, but... I can't really see the point of it. But what if I told you that businesses that create content on a regular basis get a better ranking than those that don't? To prove this point, we recently did some research where we looked at hundreds of local websites to see the differences between the high-ranking websites and the low-ranking websites. And guess what we found? Yep, top-ranking websites had over four times as much content as lower ranking websites. And that's where a blog comes in. It gives you an opportunity to create a ton of content on a regular basis. So basically, having a blog means you're going to build authority in your market or your industry. You're gonna get more traffic from Google and you're gonna have more social media action. But more importantly, it means you're gonna get more customers and more money in the bank. In terms of setting up a blog, it's a piece of cake. First, you need to set up a folder in your web hosting like we have with pickerweb.co.uk forward slash blog. Now it's best practice to do it that way, forward slash blog, as opposed to set up, for example, a subdirectory like blog.pickerweb.co.uk. Then you'll need to set up some blogging software. And when it comes to blogging, there's only one act in town, WordPress. You can set it up with one install. It's really easy. Just check below the video and you'll find a link which will show you how to do this. Then you just need to start creating blog posts on a regular basis. If you can do one a week, great. At the end of the year, you've got 52 extra posts. Brilliant. If you can do more than that, go for it. Okay, so in terms of content, you need to think of your blog as being like the home of your point of view. And your main website, that's got your sales pages, your money pages, whereas your blog, it's slightly different. Here, this is your opportunity to demonstrate your expertise and your knowledge. No selling here. The only thing you need to consider is your audience. If you think about all of the questions that they have, all the problems and all the issues they face, that's the key to a successful blog. But Tony, I'm in a boring industry, I can hear you saying. Sure, I get it. You know, maybe you're in manufacturing or taxes and accounting, legal services or whatever, and you think that any content you create is just gonna bore your audience to death. So here are my top tips to get your blog right. First up, be a problem solver. People come to you because they need your services. They need you to do something that they can't do themselves. So be their problem solver in chief. So just write down a list of frequently asked questions and just answer them in your blog posts. Things like how to, how do I, what's the best way to. This is the kind of stuff that you're answering every single day. Next, stop preaching to the choir. What I mean is speak to your audience, not your peers. So for example, if you're an accountant and you're serving local businesses, you know, they don't want to hear about advanced uh, accounting controls for budgeting for multinational companies or any old gobbledygook like that. Stop blinding them with science. Your audience of local business owners, they're just not interested in that kind of stuff. You know, if you make stuff like jewellery or furniture or whatever, show people the process. Show them how you do it. Give them a peek behind the curtain. If you're a local business and you're stuck for ideas, then think about local events. So let's say, for example, that you're a taxi firm. Nobody's interested in taxis, are they? Uh, no. But they are interested in where you take them. So why not create a guide for local events, whether they're big or small? You know, support events in your local community. And try not to talk about yourself too much. I know you're really excited about that latest training course that you've just been on. But guess what? Your audience isn't. And keep it informal. You know, get rid of all that fussy, 
dusty, formal speak. Be conversational and engaging. Like yours truly. Also, don't just use text. Use images and videos in your blog posts. And that's a really important point. Over 75% of all social media posts have got a visual element to them. And they estimate that by 2021, over 80% of all internet traffic will be video. That's massive. These days, your phone has got a fantastic camera built into it. So whenever you need some content, just take it out, take a photo, make a quick video, and boom. You've got your next blog post. And finally, don't be frightened to promote your blog content. Share it with your audience. If you've got an email list, then email your list from time to time with your blog content. If you're on social media, then share it with your followers. Social media and blogging are a match made in heaven. So that's my top tip for today. Set up a business blog. You really just need to get stuck in. Just do it. If you like this video, give it the big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel right now. Just click on the subscribe button below so you get notified when we have new videos for you. Also, share it with your friends or anyone who you know that runs a business. And if you've got any questions or any comments, just leave them below. I do read them, I really appreciate it, and I will get back to you. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks very much then, bye bye.